Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we have been creating this CRUD application using Next.js and AppWrite. So here we have the option of adding, editing, deleting and viewing these data from AppWrite. Now in the previous video, we completed creating this project. Now in this video, I'll show you how to deploy this to Vercel. So let's get started. Now before deploying this, let's go ahead and change this title. So for that, you have to go to your source code and you have to go to the layout file and uh, here you can change the title. So let's change this title to tech interpretations. So I'll just copy this and paste it over here. And now we can see that the title has changed. Now to deploy this to Vercel, the first thing we need to do is we need to create a Git repository. So you can go over here to your GitHub account and click on this create new button and click on new repository. And let's give it a name. So I'll just name it AppWrite CRUD. And then you can select public or private. I'll just select public. And uh, let's click on create repository. And here we can see our repository has been created. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to run these commands. So first of all, we need to initialize the Git repository. So let's go back to our source code. And let's go ahead and stop this server. So I'll just press control C. And uh, let's tap git init. And uh, the Git repository has been initialized. Now let's go ahead and uh, add all the files. So if you go to the git ignore file, here we can see that we have added this .env file inside the git ignore. So make sure to add this so that it is not pushed to your git repository. And uh, let's go ahead and type git add dot to add all the files. And now the next thing we need to do is git commit. So let's type git commit and uh, let's set the message to first commit and let's press enter and uh, now the next thing we need to do is run these three commands so I'll just copy these three lines of commands and let's paste it over here and let's press enter and we can see all the files have been pushed to github so now if we reload this page here we can see all the files and folders are displayed now the next thing you need to do is go to Vercel and if you don't have an account you can just create a free account and uh, you can also log in with your github account and once you're logged in you will find this screen right here and then you have to go over here to add new and click on project and the next thing you need to do is you need to import your git repository over here so our repository is named AppWrite crud so i just search for it over here AppWrite crud and we can see that it is not being displayed over here. So let's click on configure GitHub app. And uh, I'll just use my GitHub mobile app. And now here I'll just go ahead and select the repository. So I'll just click on select repositories and uh, let's search for AppWrite CRUD. And let's select it. And uh, let's click on save. And now we can see that AppWrite CRUD is being displayed over here. So let's click on import. And we can see that it has auto detected that it is a Next.js project. And uh, now we need to add the environment variables over here. So let's go back to our code and let's go to the env file. And let's copy all these three environment variables and uh, let's paste them over here. You can just click on the first input field and press command V and all the environment variables will be pasted over here. And now let's click on deploy. And here we can see that the building process has started. And here we can see our app has been deployed to Vercel. So now we can go ahead and click on this website. And this is the URL of our website. And we can see that all the data is being displayed over here. Let's add some new data. So I'll just type JavaScript and let's type a programming language. And let's click on add interpretation. And here we can see that the interpretation was added. Let's click on edit. And let's see whether we are able to edit it. And let's click on update. And here we can see the data has been updated. Let's see whether we are able to delete this. And uh, we can see that the delete is also working correctly. So the app is working alright. So that's basically how you can deploy your Next.js application to Vercel. 
now you can go over here to the dashboard and uh, you can make some changes over here so you can go over here to settings and go to domains and here you can go ahead and edit the domain and uh, you can also add your custom domains over here and here you can change the environment variables so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day